In this video, I simply want to show you what seriously helped me with this quote sheet I'm trying to make that I want to be a fillable and a customizable quote sheet. There's a lot of options on here and a lot of things that I want to be able to fill out on this quote sheet. And I want it to automatically calculate the overall cost for me at the very end. And it's this that I was having trouble doing. Filling in all the fields was fine, but this video is simply going to be how to make fillable addition, subtraction, multiplication fields. But let me just get you started. Here is my head units and tablets. This is the total from the first and the beginning of the second page that I was kind of just going through. To add the product of the quantity and the price for all of the things I'm trying to add up here, I have to use what they call simplified field notation. Simplified field notation. You don't have to go crazy with JavaScript. And that's the point of this video to show you how simplified field notation is used. And for reference, I'm using the prepare form tool. And if this is not in your shortcuts, just go to the tools up here in the left, find the prepare form and say, add to shortcut. Prepare form is what I have to use on this. Now, as I'm doing this, I like to have my right side curtain with all of my entity names open because I need this information. Okay, let's get started. So here I have the purchase price for my head units and my tablets, and I want to add that up. And to show you, my head units are up here. Head unit one, head unit two. And this is the quantity that somebody's going to want to buy, and this is the price that they're going to want to buy it at. Same over here, quantity, price. I need to add those together. And then beneath that, I have the tablets. I have either the smaller tablet, quantity and price, or this larger tablet, quantity and price. And so depending on what they want on this quote sheet, whether they want a combination of this head unit with a certain tablet and this head unit, head unit with a certain tablet, I want to be able to add all that together. So let me go ahead and go to preview. I'll go ahead and fill this in. So I'll say this is a quantity of one. The price of this is 100. I'll keep it easy. Over here, I have a quantity of one. Price of this is 100. So if I do this right, I know that I should have a total in there of $200. Now down here, quantity of this, one, 100. Quantity of this, one, 100. There we go, simple calculation. I should have a total of $400 in that field once I'm completed. I'm gonna go back to prepare form. Now the entities that I need to make sure I'm adding, you can see it's called quantity, QTY, and price. Over here is quantity underscore two, price two. And down here, quantity seven, price seven, quantity eight, price eight. When you use simplified field notation, you need to match the case and the text exactly in order for this to work. So I'm making a mental note, quantity and price without a number, and then quantity two, seven, and eight. Quantity two, seven, and eight. Okay, now let's go to it. Down here in this field, here's my purchase price. Right click, go to properties, go to calculate, simplified field notation, and say edit. You can see I've already gotten the first two completed. Quantity times price, plus quantity two times price, two, plus, now I'm gonna add, quantity seven and price seven, quantity eight and price eight. I'm gonna check one more time that I got everything correct. Looks good, I'll say okay. And I'll say close. Now let's go to preview. It says $400, just what I needed. Thank goodness it's that easy. I'll do one last check. So I should have a total of 600, 700, 800, 1100, 1500. Let's see if we have 1500 down there. And I do, it is working. So I know I got that one completed and I'm really happy about that. I hope that helped you out. And now I got to do that for the rest of this entire sheet. But that is a simple method of doing simplified notation.